Hello, how are you doing? You alright? Check out this t-shirt. Oh yeah. Every day I'm brustling. So it must be around Christmas time for me to be wearing that. Although I probably wear it most of the time anyway. Um, how are you all doing? You okay? Um, I just thought I would do a, uh, a video uh, and a walkthrough of how to uh, create uh, an Azure pipeline for um, a Azure pipeline and release for um, Power Platform. Um, I've I've written this blog post. It was written quite a while ago uh, on my on my website, and I thought it'd be a good idea to try to just go through step by step in a video to show you how to do that. Um, so. The first thing you need to first thing couple of things you need to need to be able to do, um, you need to be able to have access to uh, Azure to be able to create app registrations, um, and you also uh, need access to the Power Platform Admin Center to be able to create application users. Uh, we'll come to that bit in a minute anyway. Um, so there's also there's also three extensions you need to be able to install as well. Um, you can get these from uh, from Marketplace. If you look on my website, johndoesflow.com, and look at the application lifecycle management post, you'll find the links to those as well. Um, you also need to create a main branch repository inside your um, uh, Azure DevOps. Um, and uh, yeah, but first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to start right at the beginning and we are going to create a app registration in the uh, source environment. So um, now not to get too confusing, but I've got a Jonda's flow environment and I've also got a, um, a like a, a, a developer tenant in here as well. Um, so the grey, the grey one is the source. The grey, the grey, what's that? Grey color, something, whatever. Grey tab color, how do? Um, uh, is the source environment, and the yellow tab color is the target environment. So what we are going to do is we are going to go to um, portal.azure.com. We're going to go into app registrations. And the first thing we're going to do is click on new registration. I'm going to give this a name, ALM um, main demo. And that's all we need to do. Leave that as is. Click register. Bingo, bango, piff, puff, puff. There we go. And then uh, we also need to make a note of a few things here. So we need the uh, we need to take a copy of the client ID. So copy that, paste that in uh, notebook, notepad, Word, other things are available. Um, you need the tenancy um, ID as well, take that. And then we need to pop back over to uh, click on API permissions here on the left hand side. And we need to click on add permissions and we need to add um let's make this a little bit bigger i want a mac so dynamic crm we need this user impersonation permission and then we need to add another one and we need to search for power and we need this power apps advisor permission choose delegated permissions and analyst all and we also need uh, Azure DevOps permissions. So this one, and um, user impersonation, click add. And then we need to click grant admin consent. Now, you might get an error here. Um, if you do get an error, it means you haven't gone to DevOps and set yourself up with a um, an organization and a project. So just go and do that beforehand. Um, we then need to go to certificates and secrets find my mouse and we need a new client secret give this a name main and click add and then we're going to need this value here it's important to take a copy of that now um, as um, you might uh, when you refresh this page you'll come back to it the chances of it being there are uh, yeah zero it, it just won't be there you've got more chance of winning the lottery coming back to this page and that being there um, 
UK lottery that is you know other other lotteries are available um so that's that one and then what we need to do next is after we've done all the permissions we then need to um go to the overview if i can click things and we need to add a redirect uri this is in the blog post but i will put it at the bottom of this video as well uh, copy that click on add platform click on web paste that in there click configure um, and then there's this bit this is bit that's really confusing me right is and 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 i started this video a while ago uh, i started this video yesterday and then had some problems with this powershell bit which is on my on my website now i don't think i don't know why you need to do that um but I've just run through it and I, ha I didn't do that and it did work. So, yeah, don't worry about that. So uh, step three is to install those Azure DevOps extensions. Um, you can get those from uh, the links that are on my blog. Uh, but I'll just show you. You just basically go here and you click get it free and then you, you install it into your in, into your environment. It's pretty pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. You need to create create a main branch on your Azure DevOps repository, which I've already done. Again, the steps are in my um, uh, in my blog, so you know have a look at that. And then what we need to do is we need to cr go to um, pipelines in Azure DevOps, and we need to create a new pipeline. So I'm in um, pipelines, pipelines here, and click new pipeline and uh, we are going to choose this other git repository and that's then and then we choose azure git's repo uh, click continue uh, and we want to do an empty pipeline and click apply and then um, so what we're doing here is we're building a pipeline to export a managed and unmanaged copy of a solution that is in the target environment. So um, target env uh, export, and there are some few. There are some, basically you need to build up these this this job, which is like a list of steps basically. Um, so what we need to do is we need to click on this plus button here, and we need to search for Power Apps or oh, Power Platform. Sorry. And we need to add these in the correct order. So first of all, we need the tool installer. Then we need the Who Am I, which is going to tell the pipeline, you know, who this person is, and who the person is that's going to be exporting stuff from the environment. We need to publish customizations. We need two lots of this export solution because we're going to export a managed and an unmanaged solution. And then we need to do the unpack solution. And finally, we need to um, uh, publish the artifacts. And that's effectively the build, which we can then use to release. Um, and publish build artifact. Wow. Artifact. That's not how you spell it, is it? Right, now you can see here, there are some things that says some settings need attention. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. So we need to go into each of these and we need to configure these. Um, the first thing that we need to do is the configuration of the Who Am I? Um, and what we need to do is we need to use a service, pr service principle. So we're gonna click on this and we're gonna click on manage. That's gonna um, pop us up, or actually we're not gonna click on manage, that's complete rubbish. We're gonna click on new. And what we need to do here is we need to fill in the details of the app registration that we created and the server URL of the target, uh, sorry, the source environment, source. So we are in the source environment here. We're going to get the um, uh, URL from the admin center, Power Platform admin center. And on a Mac, which is a bit annoying, when you copy a URL, it doesn't add the HTTPS on the front. So... We need to do that ourselves. So go to environments, into my John Does Flow environment, and we're gonna copy that link and go back to here. 
stick in HTTPS at the front and paste that in. Now the tenant ID is the stuff that we left in our notes um, that we got earlier on. So we're going to paste that in there. We are also going to get the application ID, which is also known as the client ID, which is on the overview page of the app registration. Uh, but good old John Boy, he put it in a notepad. Yeah, that's right. And then we're going to get the client secret, um, which is uh, some crazy billion characters. There we, oh, no, not in there. Uh, what a div. In there. So we'll get the, sorry, get the tenant ID again. I oh, know. Client ID, application ID, sorry. Stick that in there as well, and then we're going to call this um, YouTube Main Demo 2. And important, click on this click, uh, box here, grant access permission to all pipelines, and click save. That's that one sorted out. Then we need to go to publish customizations. We've already created this service principle, so just click service principle and then choose it from the list and don't need to do anything else there. We then need to do the export solution. So the first one, we are gonna rename this to export manage solution. Gonna use that service principle again. Uh, there it is. And we are going to, um, then um, we need to find the solution name that we're exporting. So I'm gonna choose one of my pretty basic solutions over here. Uh, let's choose we got a uh, container let's have a look what's in here i think i think this is when i was just playing around with containers so i think it'll be pretty pretty standard um yep it's fine so what i need here um is i need the name value from uh this page so i need that container value and that goes in here and goes in there and then after that um, we then need to paste in uh, this, which again you can get from my blog post. It's basically the um, location of the, um, the the place where the solution is going to be saved. And we are going to call that contain underscore managed and export it as a managed solution. And then uh, that's, that's all good there. And then we're going to export a unmanaged solution. And that's going to be with a service principle. We are going to choose that YouTube main demo two that we created earlier. Um, solution name again is this container solution, and we can get that from the previous step. Uh, get that as well. Stick that in there and change that to unmanaged. Leave that tick off. We don't need to do that now. And then unpack solution. So the uh, solution file. Um, wait till we get there. Uh, solution input file is going to be the unmanaged solution, which is this link, this text that goes in there in the solution file, and then the target folder to unpack it to is basically just that, but remove the underscore zip and it's unmanaged. Nice. So we are going to save that. Save, save. And then what we now need to do is we need to create an app registration in the target environment um, so that we can use that app registration to um, uh, to run the who am i step in the release pipeline which we'll come to in a minute so back to app registrations we're going to create a new registration um we're going to call this uh alm youtube oh, here youtube main demo 2 uh, click register and then we need to do the same thing again we need to take these we need to take the client id uh, sorry, my other screen is just down here to the left. So this is target client ID, and we need the um, tenant ID, 
and then we also need to go to API permissions. We need to do the same as what we did before. So we're going to add permission. We're going to go to dynamics. Where is it? There it is. Add that. Uh, add a permission. Uh, the power apps advisor delegated and analysts all. And then uh, we also need uh, DevOps. Sweet. And then grant admin consent and click yes. Nice. Very good. Very good. Uh, we need to go back to certificates and secrets because we need to create a new secret for this. Uh, ALM. Oh, ALM. U, U, Q, no, demo 2. Click add. And again, we're going to need this value. Stick that in there as well. We need to create app users in our source and target environment. So again, we're going to go to the admin center. Again, we're in the source environment here. And this is this bit has caught me out a couple of times. So um, I'll go slow here. So we go to environments, select our environment go users, go to the app users list and we're going to create a new app user, uh, add an app, we're going to use the ALM main demo and click on the the business unit which is the, the tenancy or sorry the environment and then this is really important to add the security roles so the security roles we need are basic user, um, environment maker and system customizer click save and then click create and then we also need to do the same inside the target environment so again back into the admin center um, into users into um, the app user list and then we are going to create a new app user again select the um, business unit we're going to use the main demo 2 click add and again security roles that we need uh, basic user environment maker and system customizer save click create that's good nice then what we need to do we need to run the pipeline in the source environment um, to um, do the export of the managed and unmanaged solution. So just to show you, um, it is the let's have a look what it was called the container, um, the container solution. As you can see at the moment, there's nothing there. There's no container solution there in the um, target environment. So we're going to click uh, Q, and we are going to click Run. And we can click on this agent job here and, and watch it run. So it's now going to go through all of the steps that we created um, uh, as part of the um, release pipeline. And I'll I'll speed this I'll speed this bit up for us. Cool. So there you go. Um, we know that it's completed as those two final steps have completed this finalized job and reporting the build status. Um, so that has created a, a, a an artifact or a release of um, our container solution. So we're going to click on, we're going to go to re releases and then new release pipeline. We are going to choose empty job here and click apply. And then here in Add Artifacts, we're going to choose Build, and we are going to choose Target Env Export. And then we're going to click Add. And then we're going to come over to here, and this is where we need to build these tasks up again. Um, in here, we need three. We need the um, Tool Installer. So again, we're going to look for Power Platform. 
and we want the tool installer, the who am I, and the import solution. So I click on new, and this is going to be the details for the top for the target environment. So we are going to get the uh, URL. And we are going to get the tenant ID. And we are going to get the uh, client ID. We're going to get the um, application secret, which is in my notepad. Um, and we're going to call this one uh, main connection. Click on this grant access to all pipelines. Click save. Choose that. That's fine. I'm going to go over to here and we're going to choose the um, service principle again and we're going to choose that main connection and then hopefully we are going to get, yes, we are going to get the correct, uh, we're going to get the unmanaged zip file and click OK. And then we're going to save that. And then we're going to create release. And we can click on this release one. Can see what's happening. And as you can see at the moment in my solutions file, there's no solution file called container in there at the moment. That's successful as well. Now we can head over to our target environment and refresh the page. And hopefully, there is the container solution inside the other environment. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you got something out of this. Um, and uh, Speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye.